Love feels like you can just wholly trust the other person to just take care of you and know what you need when you, you don't even know what you need yourself and just be there for you through like everything. Yeah, I hate that question when, like, when do you know, like, when was the moment that you knew you were in love, but it was like, not just one moment, it's like moments all the time. Uh, it could just be like small stuff for making a joke or smiling or be on a trip. It wasn't just some huge moment. And it's kind of nice, it's a whole bunch of little moments because it's like all the time. Hi. <laughs> Finally get to see you. Good. You look great. To Natasha, you have been part of the family from the first day we officially met you. We have watched you grow into a beautiful, strong, and determined young woman. We have never seen our son happier than when he is with you. May your future bring many more days and nights at home, on the road, and in your rooftop tent. Bradley Ross Olson, I've thought about marrying you since before we even became official. You terrify me sometimes with your dreams and ideas, but here we are and each year we accomplish more than I could have ever imagined. Natasha, I am so happy that I get to marry the person I can't ever stop thinking about. I'm glad our relationship was gradual, that we really got to know each other before becoming intimate and the wait was still well worth it. I know we've had our time apart and it helped us grow as individuals, but I want to say that what it really did was show me that you are the one person I can't live without and I am never going to let you go again. Insane how two kids in the bakery of Savon made it through teenage and young adult years to get married now. I am really, really looking forward to the rest of our lives together because I know we have so many great things to accomplish, goals to fulfill, and I can't imagine going through life without you. Love your Prince Bradley. <laughs> He's so cute. He doesn't always say how he feels, but it's nice to see that and feel it. Well, good afternoon again. My name is Andy once more. It's my honor to welcome you to the wedding celebration of Natasha and Brad. I'm beyond excited for the two of you to embark on your next adventure together, married life. Brad is such a kind and loving man, and I know the two of you will have so much happiness in your future. The way you look at each other shows the genuine love and respect you have for one another. You make goals together and you accomplish them together. There's nothing you two can't do. I don't know anyone who could have taught my reaction to finding out that you guys got, had gone off to Oregon and came back engaged. I cried and screamed the whole time. Hi, <sighs> Natasha. Take you, Brad, to be my husband and partner through all of life's adventures. I promise to support you and work through challenges to find ways to keep each other happy, happy fulfilled, fulfilled, and loved, loved every day. To reach out to someone and be acknowledged and loved is a human necessity. What I love most about your story is that you never gave up when things got hard. 
And just as the past 10 years have been an adventure, you are now stepping into a new season. Marriage is a beautiful adventure. It's the promise between two people who love each other, trust each other, honor one another as individuals and wish to spend the rest of their lives together. So, by the authority given to me by the province of British Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. Thank you.